Spring 2003. I am deep into the Dragon Ball fandom, always needing to scratch that DBZ itch. One day, I wander into my local books a million. On the magazine's shelf, I discover a periodical entitled Shonen Jump, with a picture of Goku flying right towards me. I just had to get it. I pick it up, thumb through it, get disappointed that the promo Goku card is missing, and upon flipping to the back cover, which is the front cover, see what looks to be a floating samurai head and a kid in a kimono. Little did I know that this character, known as Yo Asakura, would be my introduction into the world of spirit allies and shaman fights in what would become my favorite Shonen Jump series of all time, Shaman King. Shaman King is written and illustrated by Hiroyuki Takei. Influenced by the likes of Osamu Tezuka and Hellboy creator Mike Manola, Takei began drawing robots like Mazinger Z around the age of five. With no formal training, Takei got his official start in manga by working as an assistant for Charlie Nozawa on Super Mario Adventure. And with Rurouni Kenshin mangaka Nobuhiro Watsuki, along with fellow Shonen Jump artist Eiichiro Oda of One Piece fame. Shaman King wasn't Takei's first foray into the pages of Weekly Shonen Jump. At the age of 25, his maiden voyage came in the form of Butsu Zone, a manga about Senju, a 1,000 hands bodhisattva sent to help Sachi, the reincarnation of the Buddha Maitreya, to achieve enlightenment. Butsu Zone's run in Shonen Jump began on March 3, 1997 in that year's 12th issue, and concluded with a total of 19 chapters, with its last chapter appearing in issue 31 almost a year to the day before Shaman King's debut. Butsu Zone was compiled into three volumes, and in each of these volumes, one of Takei's previous one-shots were featured. Volume 1 saw the original Butsu Zone one-shot republished after appearing in 1996's Weekly Shonen Jump Summer Special. Volume 2 had a one-shot entitled Death Zero included, which had run in the 1996 Weekly Shonen Jump Winter Special and Anna the Otako, which was completed in 1994, a work that had won Takei an honorable mention in that year's Tezuka Awards, was published as part of Butsu Zone's third volume. The titular character, Anna, was also featured heavily in Butsu Zone and became one of the more central characters in Shaman King. Takei has stated that Anna is like his personal mascot slash good luck charm, and although Butsu Zone lasted only a short time, it did receive three drama CDs and an anime OVA during the Jump 2002 Summer Anime Tour. For the title of his next work, Takei used shaman, an English word, because he could not find a Japanese word with the accurate meaning of the word shaman. Shaman King wasn't the series' initial title, however. In the Shaman King fan book, it was revealed that one of the early working titles of Takei's new manga was going to be Shaman, the Trance Fighters. Takei has said the plot of Trance Fighters was a vague story about fighting an evil spirit, with characters using a state of codependence with their own spirits, a so-called trance. Aside from the different name, the protagonist of Shaman the Trance Fighters looks drastically different from his Shaman King counterpart. Supporting characters had different names as well. Tao Jun was known as Nao, Tamao was known as Mami, Marion was Misa, Kana was Kasumi, and Matilda was never named. In an interview, when asked, why do a manga about a boy who's a shaman? Takei responded, Another reason to have shamanism as the main subject was because Takei could explore elements from different cultures and their relationships with the dead. Takei created the story of Shaman King after he created the characters because he believed Shaman King debuted in 1998 in Weekly Shonen Jump's 31st issue of that year. The story follows the laid-back protagonist, Yo Asakura, on his quest to become Shaman King and merge with the Great Spirit, to be able to shape the world in any way that he sees fit. To do so, Yo must win the Shaman Fight, a battle held once every five millenniums between competing shamans. 
The Shaman King manga ran for six years from June 30th, 1998 to August 30th, 2004 and finished its tenure in Weekly Shonen Jump with a total of 284 chapters and four distinct story arcs. The unofficial titles of said arcs are the Coming to Tokyo arc, lasting from chapter 1 through 26. The Shaman Fights in Tokyo arc continued the story through chapter 80. The Traveling Through America arc went on until chapter 107. And the longest arc, The Shaman Fights Second Round, ran through the manga's completion. All 284 chapters of Shaman King are compiled into 32 individual volumes, with volume 32 receiving a special 285th chapter. There is some controversy regarding the final volume, however. Set to release on December 3rd, 2004, Volume 32 did not meet that date. This caused rumors to begin to swirl that it may never get released, and it got to the point where it was believed that if Shueisha, the publisher for Shonen Jump, did not receive a petition with at least 50,000 signatures demanding the release of Volume 32, that it would never get released. Shueisha, however, has never made any official statement of that kind. The most likely cause for the delay is the completion and addition of the 285th chapter. Volume 32 was eventually released on January 5th, 2005. Even though an extra chapter was added to the final volume, the story of Shaman King was left unfinished, the last chapter leaving the reader on a cliffhanger and in the middle of the lead up to the climax of the story. Why did this happen? Why was Shaman King cancelled before the ending was complete? Well, many factors go into the cancellation of a manga series. Takei claims that it wasn't a decline in profitability that ended the series prematurely, but it was a fatigue he had been through because he was no longer able to follow his fans' wishes. In the author's opinion, Shaman King was being normalized by the desire of his readers and the introduction of typical shonen aspects and losing its originality. This fatigue Takei speaks of is hinted at in the foreword of Volume 31 of Shaman King, with Takei saying, Shaman King ni jyudai na koto ga okite shimatta. Ura de nani ga okite iru no ka wo hanashitari, iiwake o shitari, kouge shitari, shazai shitari suru tsumori wa arimasen ga, nani mo shinai de iru no wa dokusha no minasan ni shitsure da to omoimasu. It was another two and a half years until Takei saw serialization in the pages of Shonen Jump again. His third series, Jumbor Barutronica, debuted on January 15, 2007 and ended just 10 chapters later on March 19th of the same year. All 10 chapters were compiled into a single volume. During Jump Festa 2008, a Shueisha sponsored manga and anime expo, it was announced that a reprint of Shaman King would be released, entitled Shaman King Kanzenban, or literally, The Perfect Complete Edition. Aside from compiling the original 285 chapters into 27 volumes instead of the original 32, the Kanzenban volumes would sport new cover art and the books would be slightly larger than their original counterparts. That wasn't all the Shaman King news coming out of Jump Festa that year. It was also announced that Takei would provide additional chapters to the manga, picking up where the serialization left off, concluding his true ending to the Shaman King story. Two Kanzenban were released per month beginning on March 4, 2008 through April 3, 2009, adding a total of 16 extra chapters to the Shaman King story, ending the saga at a tidy 300 chapters. So five years after its original run had ended, Shaman King was finally finished. Said Takei, in 2002, Viz Media, a company that began publishing Japanese manga in America in 1987, acquired the rights to many of Weekly Shonen Jump's most popular titles. Among these titles were Naruto, One Piece, and of course, Shaman King. During the summer of that year, preview issues of Viz's newest magazine, Shonen Jump, were handed out at anime conventions across the country. In this issue zero, a four-page preview of Shaman King was printed, making this the first time that Shaman King was seen in the United States. Shaman King saw its proper debut with its first full chapter printed in the March 2003 issue of Shonen Jump, the magazine's third issue overall. And Shaman King remained a staple until almost four and a half years later, in Shonen Jump's August 2007 issue, when it was decided that in order to speed up publication, it would only be released in the graphic novel format. 
The first graphic novel was printed in August of 2003, with the final volume, Volume 32, releasing on January 4th, 2001. This edition of Volume 32 is identical to the original Japanese version, ending with Chapter 285. Aside from Japan and America, Shaman King has been published in many other countries, including Brazil, France, Germany, and Italy. Shaman King proved popular enough during its time in the pages of Weekly Shonen Jump to warrant its own anime series. Directed by Seiji Mizushima, who would go on to direct the first Full Metal Alchemist series, and co-produced by Zebek, NAS, and TV Tokyo, the Shaman King anime debuted on July 4, 2001 on TV Tokyo. Author Hiroyuki Takei even worked on the anime staff during the initial phases, but soon left due to time constraints of producing a weekly manga series. Shaman King ran for 64 episodes, concluding on September 25, 2002. Three compilation specials were also produced. With the anime running concurrent with the manga, it was bound to catch up with the story currently in the pages of Shonen Jump. While the anime story is consistent with the mangas up until around the midpoint of the anime, with only minor differences, it is soon after that the anime deviates into its own original story, complete with its own original ending. Series director Mizushima claims that the differences in the latter half of the anime were not done of his own accord, but at the request of Shueisha. The 64 episodes of Shaman King were compiled onto 16 DVDs from King Records between October 30, 2001 and January 22, 2003, with the re-release all coming out in the latter half of 2008, coinciding with the release of the Kanzenban editions. With Shonen Jump becoming popular in America, the Shaman King anime was licensed by 4Kids Entertainment, becoming the first series from the American Shonen Jump to be licensed even airing prior to Juggernaut's One Piece and Naruto. Once every 500 years, the grand tournament begins. Premiering on the Fox Box on September 6, 2003, six months after its first chapter was published, Shaman King ran until September 3, 2005. Bonded with their spirit partners, these shamans will battle to see who will be crowned the next. Shaman King. And although Japan saw a full run of the anime on home video, only two volumes, A Boy Who Dances with Ghosts and Perfect Possession, were released stateside, both containing three episodes. There were plans for at least three more volumes to be released, and there is even a trailer for Volume 3, Pylong Attacks, seen on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Back to Battle City DVD. Volume 4 would have been titled Ryu is Possessed, and even has cover art released for it. Another note, the title of the DVD uses Ryu's Japanese name instead of the four kids' given name, Ryo. No cover art exists for Volume 5, entitled Shaman Fight, but there are Amazon listings for it. These DVDs were produced in conjunction with Funimation and, due to low sales of the first two volumes and an apparent falling out between four kids and Funimation, the DVD line was cancelled. <laughs> Like most other popular anime, Shaman King merchandise flooded the market in Japan and abroad. Keychains, Hot Wheels, anime soundtracks, drama CDs, light novels, even Shaman King backpacks. You name it, and you could probably find a Shaman King version of it. To go over every piece of Shaman King merch would take literal hours, so let's just stick to three types of merchandise. Action figures, card games, and video games. First off, the 2004 Mattel figure line. The main set consisted of 11 toys, 6 3-inch scale shaman figures, 4 7-inch normal size spirits, and 1 deluxe spirit of fire. Many figures of the spirits were released as well, 6 in total. The Shaman King trading card game launched on January 28, 2005 in Blockbuster video stores and were sold there exclusively until February 15th of that year. At that point, the Japanese Shaman King card game had already sold around 165 million cards, so hopes were high for the American version. Produced by Upper Deck, early images show the first set was to be called Shaman King Samurai, but once released, the official name was Shaman King trading card game Reincarnation. The set had 201 different cards, 42 common, 52 uncommon, 37 rare, 10 spectrogram cards, 
and 60 different chamber cards, which housed a double-sided attack card inside of a character card. Cards were sold in individual packs of 10 cards. Booster boxes of 24 packs were sold alongside starter decks. The starter decks included a play mat, a rule book, and were allotted to 6 decks per case. The starter deck also came with the 2 episode DVD of the anime. Unfortunately, this was the only set of Shaman King cards to be released, as it was cancelled before a second set came to print. In a 2005 interview with ICV2, Upper Deck's Director of Brand and New Product Development, Corey Jones, stated, We learned a hard lesson with Shaman King. A great game design and a cool IP with hardcore fans. Unfortunately, the TV show underperformed and was cancelled. This was a reality Upper Deck had no control over, and we were put in a difficult spot. We were forced to cancel the game and disappoint a small group of Shaman King TCG fans. Over the years, 13 Shaman King video games have been released over six different systems, with two extra appearances in Shonen Jump related video games. Instead of listing them off one by one, I'm just going to montage through them while a chiptune version of the first Shaman King anime opening plays. Enjoy. and Bond Volume 27 may have contained the ending to the story of Shaman King proper, but not the story as a whole. As of writing this, there have been five different Shaman King spin-offs, two of which are still being released. First, Shaman King Zero, published in Jump X Magazine, served as a sort of prequel to the Shaman King story, providing more backstory for some of the main characters. Zero ran from 2011 to 2014, and all 12 chapters are featured in two volumes. Shaman King Flowers, also published in Jump X, takes place 16 years after the Shaman fight and features Hana Asakura, the son of Yo and Anna, as the main protagonist. Running from April 2012 to October 2014, 29 chapters of Shaman King Flowers were released into six volumes. Unfortunately, when Jump X ceased production, Takei was forced to cancel Shaman King Flowers as he was unable to find another magazine to pick it up, thus leaving Shaman King Flowers unfinished. Running for four volumes and 16 chapters, Shaman King Red Crimson is not drawn by Takei himself, with artist Jet Kusamura taking up those honors. Running from June 2018 to January 2020 in the pages of Shonen Magazine Edge, Red Crimson tells the story of Tao Jun and Lee Pylong as they fight against the organization of Red Crimson, a group dead set on destroying the Tao family. Beginning this year, Shaman King Marcos began its publication in Shonen Magazine Edge after Red Crimson completed its run. Also written by Takei and illustrated by Kusamura, Shaman King Marcos acts as a continuation of Red Crimson as the remaining members of the X-Laws hunt to find their former leader, Marco. And finally, Shaman King the Superstar. Running since May 2018 in Shonen Magazine Edge, Superstar acts as a sequel to Flowers. So far, four volumes have been printed and literally just announced as I was recording this audio. Shaman King and the Garden was announced to debut in the January issue 
of Nakayoshi Magazine. Written by Takei, the layout and composition will be done by Jet Kusumura of Red Crimson and Marcos, but the manga itself will be drawn by Kyo Nuasawa. What sets Shaman King and Nagarin apart from the other series is that this manga will be in a shoujo magazine, whereas Shonen Jump is targeted to younger boys, shoujo magazines are targeted to younger girls. Shaman King and the Garden will tell the stories of the Hanagumi, Kana, Matilda, and Marion as a sort of prequel to their story before the events of Shaman King proper. In December 2017, Kodansha, a rival manga publishing company to Shueisha, announced the company had acquired the Shaman King trademark from Shueisha in Japan and Viz Media in North America. To celebrate Shaman King's 20th anniversary, Kodansha republished the original manga's 300 chapters across 35 ebooks with new cover art between April 27, 2018 and October 1, 2018. Kodansha also announced that beginning on June 17th of this year, they would be re-releasing print versions of the 35 volumes on a monthly basis. In July 2020, Comixology and Kodansha USA announced that they would publish the 35 volumes of the new complete edition of the manga along with the spin-off series in the United States digitally starting in July 2020. However, these series were delayed until October of the same year. Kodansha USA also announced that they will release the original Shaman King series physically in 11 3-in-1 omnibus editions that will be released between 2021 and 2022. The first two volumes will be published simultaneously in the spring of 2021. And perhaps the biggest Shaman King news to come out of 2020? Beginning in April 2021, a new Shaman King anime series will premiere on TV Tokyo. 20 years after the original anime began airing. With most of the main cast returning to voice their old characters, the anime promises to stay faithful to the original 300 chapters. To date, the original Shaman King manga has sold over 35 million volumes in Japan and is still highly desired in America, with some individual volumes asking ridiculous prices on the secondary market. With the legacy lasting over two decades and a resurgence on the horizon, it's time to awaken into the brilliance. Let there be light. Revive a soul. The soul of Shaman King.